What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is the Iceco VL45. It is a 45 liter 12 volt fridge and if you've seen any of my other videos you may be thinking this looks very familiar. Back in the spring I did a review of the set power um, RV45S and lots of people in the comments asked me if this was the same fridge as the Iceco VL45 because they do look very 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 similar. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Just to be transparent with you, I reached out to Iceco because I did a review of their VL75 Pro um, that I use in the back of my Gladiator all the time and asked them and they sent me one to, to check out. Um, so I want to share the features of this and compare it to the set power fridge and let you decide if it's worth the, the price difference between the two. I no longer have the set power fridge. I actually gave it to a friend of mine who uses it. Um, so I can't sit here and compare them back to back. But let me walk you through the specs of this. Like I said, it's a 45 liter fridge. It has all aluminum construction around it. It has very nice latches. It has two baskets on the inside, all very similar to the set power. It has an LED light on the inside, nice rubber gasketing around the lid. Move it to the side. It's got rugged, sturdy metal handles that are spring loaded. And it's got the controls here. The vents are angled down. Uh, they do say that you can use this and keep it in a light rain. Um, they do recommend not a heavy downpour and you definitely don't want this sitting in water where it's going to get up into that. Uh, but I think, you know, in the back of a, in the back of a truck like this, um, with a rooftop tent kind of providing some protection, I think this would serve really well in this type of environment and certainly going to do great in the back of, of an SUV or, you know, a car, that sort of thing. Um, it's got rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around. Um, and I very much like it. It is very similar to the set power, but it is also different. And the difference is, um, looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell, but the size is actually a little bit different. The dimensions are slightly off and I'm going to cheat and use my notes here because I'm not going to remember all these numbers, but the ice co is 27.4 inches by 15.8 inches by 19.2 inches and weighs 49 pounds. The set power, is actually it's still just a hair different it is 27.3 by 16 by 18.8 and weighs three pounds less at 46 pounds now i don't know what i don't I, without having the set power here in an actual tape measure i don't know if there's just some you know just some rounding going on there or if they are legitimately different because they look and feel the same size. Another key difference is the lid on the set power is all plastic, whereas this one is aluminum just like the body is, and I think makes for a slightly more rugged appearance. Um, definitely, I, I think is a little tougher and more rugged than the set power fridge, but uh, th that is definitely a key difference is aluminum versus plastic on the lid. One other difference that you'll see about this compared to the set power is the cords and the outlets that they give you. The Iceco gives you two outlets, one specifically for the DC and one specifically for the AC. They give you the appropriate cable for the AC as well. I've currently got this plugged into the back of my Gladiator. Um, they of course give you a warranty card and a very nice detailed manual there. Um, but the set power fridge and I've found this in a lot of budget fridges. They only have one output here um, for the DC 
and their cord comes with this little adapter there's the the dc cord that they give you um, but then they give you this little adapter that plugs into the 12 volt and then you've got your brick and then you've got the the power end um, so a little bit more to to wrangle with here whereas isco gives you two completely separate inputs you can have both of them plugged in and it will switch between the two if if need be on the controls it's very standard just like any other fridge i've currently got this set at 34 degrees i uh, turn it on and off you can change it from max power to minimum power um, that just changes the the rate that the compressor cools max if you've got this plugged into a wall put it on max if you've got it plugged into you know, your vehicle um, or a power station you can change it to min and you just hold down the button there and it changes over to max hold it down again and it changes over to, to minimum you've got your voltage protection here for your vehicle so you don't drain your starter battery you've got high medium low and it details in the book what those settings are i like to run mine on medium that seems to be a nice happy medium uh, to protect the battery in in, in my jeep um, but depending on your vehicle you may want to turn it up to high um, and then of course you can change the temperatures this will go from zero to 50 degrees so you can use this as a freezer if you want to or you can use it as a fridge i like to keep mine at about 34 degrees it keeps everything nice and cool inside the compressors in them are what really, I think, distinguish one above the other. And I said this in the VL75 Pro review that I did um, a while back. And I think that Iceco really does a great job of filling a void. Um, they sit above the budget fridges, like an Alpacool, like a Set Power. Um, but they also aren't the real high-end price point like a Dometic or a Snowmaster um, or, or, or an ARB. So I think that's really nice because you get more bang for the buck, I think, with an Iceco fridge. And what sets it apart and what fits it right in the middle is the compressor that they use. They use a C-Cop compressor that has a five-year warranty, whereas the set power had their own compressor, a set power compressor that they have a two-year warranty for. And the CCOP compressor is the same, it's, it's the same as the Danfoss compressors used to be. Um, it is a higher end compressor that you will find in a Dometic or an ARB. And the fact that you can get that quality of a compressor in a fridge like this at this price point, I think is fantastic. And I, I really think that's, that's where Iceco fills a niche in between the budget fridges and the high-end, more premium fridges. Um, talking about budgets, let's talk price. The set power that I reviewed in the spring, it comes in at $399. $400 for a fridge, not bad at all. Sometimes you can find those on sale. The Iceco VL45, it comes in at $559. So, you know, $160 more than the set power. But there's a link in the description below. There's also a coupon code for 12% off, making this $491, which is a pretty darn good value. Um, I think that is a quite excellent price for a fridge of this quality with a compressor um, this good. And I, anyway, I hope you find that helpful. As a comparison to the higher end fridges, the Dometic CFX 345, which is the same interior space as this, it comes in at $1,050, I think. Definitely over $1,000. Um, for the Dometic. So you can see the price point here, you know, 400, sometimes less, 350 for a budget size fridge, um, $1,000 for one of the higher end premium fridges, or with the coupon code, just under 500 bucks for a fridge of this caliber with this good of a compressor, I think is a crazy good value. Now, the one test that I do on every single fridge that I review is to plug this into a 500 watt hour power station and see just how efficient these are, just how long these will run. So if you're out on a weekend and you've, you know, 
want to take it off your starter battery and plug it into a power station just to give you a ballpark of how long one will last. So as with every test, it's done inside the house where we keep the house at about 74 degrees. Two two liter water bottles are put inside just for some ambient uh, temperature regulation. It is pre-cooled to 34 degrees. And for this particular test, I plugged it into our Blue Eddy EB55 500 watt hour power station. And as expected, this thing did very, very well. Um, it came in at 62 hours and 24 minutes. So over two and a half days on the Blue Eddy EB55. So you can take this out, take your power station out, go for a long weekend, you know, as you're driving around in your vehicle, keep this plugged into that. If you're worried about your battery, unplug it from that, plug it into the power station and lasting two and a half days, you know that, you know, just overnight, this thing's going to last for several days for you, you know, switching between your vehicle and the power station and without having to recharge your power station. So very impressed with this, uh, with that 62 hours and 24 minute mark. Uh, it, it performs very well. Well, I hope you found this helpful. It is a very solid fridge. I'll let you be the judge if it's worth another hundred bucks compared to the set power fridge. Um, but um, my opinion is, yeah, I really like the Ice Co. I just really like this brand and where it sits in the market. So very, very impressed with the two fridges that I have tested from Ice Co. And, um, I think they're fantastic. But uh, if this was helpful, if you would like the video, uh, hit subscribe to the channel if you're not. Got lots of great stuff coming up. Um, lots of great stuff coming in the Gladiator. Um, a lot more build updates. Uh, we've got stuff coming up with the Grand Cherokee and got some new fun things to take to camp and stuff that I'll be showing you in the future. Check out longcreekoverland.com for all of our merchandise and take a look at our Patreon page. If you wanna consider helping us in a very tangible way, um, we really appreciate that. That is what helps drive this channel and allow us, us to do a lot of the things that we do. Um, and we very much treasure and value um, our supporters through Patreon. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.